everyone. My name is Davida Cunningham and I am the CEO and President of Be Elite Pageants. This past April 2018, we hosted our first annual Grown and Sexy Pageant for women, naturally born women, ages 25 and older. Tonight, I will be joined by a few of those contestants and we'll talk about their pageant experience. Hope you'll join me. Hi, I'm Valerie Brown. I'm a runway coach. I am a mother of three grandchildren of four. I enjoy modeling. I love to inspire women to be comfortable in their own skin, teaching them to walk the way they were created to walk. But every woman is made to be beautiful. But thanks for joining me, Val. First of all, I just want to thank you for being a part of this journey and just really believing in the mission, believing in the passion behind it, and believing in the vision. And I'm so happy that we were able to connect after so many years and you came to the table full force. So I want to ask you first, how did you get into runway coaching? You know, I was that awkward kid, pigeon-toed, glasses, and someone saw me. She saw me, she was a um, mirror mirror model, and her name was Jocelyn, and she saw me and she saw something in me. And um, I started working with her, I was very, I, it took me a long time to walk, but I kept on, I got tra trained the old school way with the book on top of your head. Oh wow. <laughs> so she, she worked with me, and um, I never forgot that. So I became real good after her working with me and spending time with me. And I said, you know, there's some other women out there just like me, so that's how I view it. And, teaching ever since been modeling for over 20 years. Right, right. We, we were you yes. know, walking together yes. doing some things. I always like to share my story. My mom put me into modeling and charm school at the age of 10 okay. because I was extremely shy. Can you believe that? I was yes. shy. I didn't like talking to people. I didn't like, you know, looking people in the face. And she, she saw something that wasn't quite right for her. You know, with your daughter and your daughter, you know, my mom's out going. She, she's a pretty fancy lady. But I'm so happy that she saw that and she felt like she needed to put me into those classes, especially at the age of 10. Yeah. Because it, it really has been with me for a very long time. And I want to say that passion came out of that. It wasn't so much that I wanted to be a professional model because I always thought I was too short. So I never really wanted to be a professional model. I just wanted to gain all of that those skills and all of that and like you teach other people mm -hmm. so for a little while I did have um, the elite modeling and charm school and now it's just grown into pageantry okay, so we share that whole thing yes. Yes. so when I came to you and I said now I'm doing these pageants girl and I got these women I want you to work with what were your first thoughts like what did you think this pageant was going to be about well knowing you I know your passion to her Women, I've watched you, and I know you really, really, you do things at a high level. This is, I call it the spit of excellence. Wow. So just watching you and knowing that your passion, it wasn't just something, it wasn't just a hobby or something you wanted to do. Mm -hmm. You've always loved women. So when you get two women that connect with the same passion, things happen. When I saw you, I'm like, wow, this is exactly what I want to do. But you were already doing it. So my thing was how, because I know you, mm -hmm. and I can trust you, how can I help build the vision? It, had, it did not have to be my vision, I just wanted to help. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when you said that, and you, I was honored that you asked me to do it, I jumped on it, and I'm so glad I did. I'm glad you did too. Well, I can't wait until we bring some of the contestants from our first annual Grown and Sexy Pageant. We're going to start to bring them to the conversation, bring them to the table, because I can't wait for you to hear the great things that they have to say about you. Oh my gosh. So our first contestant we're going to bring up will be Miss Connie. 
Hi, my name is Connie. I'm a mother of four. I'm in my 70s. I have grandkids and great grandkids. I love dancing, I love modeling, I love clothes. I'm a church going person and I love everyone. I try to do whatever I can to help others. And I thank you for being able to let me say my piece. Miss Connie, I'm so happy you could join us. And I'm happy to be here. You suck. Miss Connie is the flyest lady walking <laughs> sweet wet Ohio, y'all. Y'all y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Hold and you totally killed the competition this past April. So talk to us about your experience from the beginning. How did you even hear about this grown and sexy pageant? Well, I, um, I think I heard about it by, through um, the internet and you called me and I think you had seen me doing some other things. And so I said I would, I, I, well, at first I was kind of, um, I don't know. And you said, oh, you, you can do it, you can do it. So I decided I would go ahead and try it. Mm -hmm. And I got more excited about it as, as um, time went on. I'm telling you when, so when the ladies um, hear about the pageant, they go and they register online. And when the registration comes, I think it's just a personal touch to contact the ladies myself, introduce myself, and be able to kind of give a brief overview of what it is. Um, Cause sometimes when you read stuff online, you kind of, some things could be unclear. Yeah. So I just wanted to make sure that I introduce myself and answer any questions that they may have. And I remember talking to you, Miss Connie. I did. I heard so many great things because I was telling the team, like, you know, I would give them updates. Oh, we got Miss Connie. She registered and stuff. Oh, and that Connie from such and such. She do fashion show. She she this. And when I talked to you, you went into your history of back in New York modeling yes. and things like that. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Well, um, I went to school. Well, I was born in New York City, and I went to school in um, a field board, which was a model, one of the top models years ago. And she had a school, and I went to her school, and I, we learned modeling. A good part of the like the book, mm -hmm. And with the modeling, we even also had to do fencing, because we had to do that for balance. Oh, so there was a lot of different things that we did to prepare us, and we had to always walk in high heels, the really tall heels, which I still can't really walk in. <laughs> but. <laughs> But it was fun, and we got to do different things. We went to different places and met different people. I met with, um, at the time, it was Cassius Clay, which you mm. can uh, Muhammad Ali. Mm. And um, I had met a guy that was, um, he was taking pictures for Ebony, mm -hmm. which was Jet Magazine. And he became my photographer. Mm -hmm. And that's where I got all of my um, portfolio from. Mm -hmm. So I took pictures at um, Central Park, different places like that. And he submitted my pictures to Ebony. Mm -hmm. I went down and, because um, they called me and asked if I'd like to be at the Ebony Fashion Fair. And at the time I had just got married and I really turned it down, which I don't know why. Because <laughs> I said I just got married and I think mm -hmm. my husband would like me to travel. But I always liked clothes and I always liked fashions. I used to look at um, Millie the Model Fashion um, mm -hmm. comic books and the um, with the um, paper dolls, I make my own little clothes with paper dolls. And I just always liked fashion. And after modeling school, I did a couple of pageants. And I just love clothes. And that's why I like to do things like that. Well, we can tell you love clothes because you are so stylish. <laughs> always <laughs> sharp. Always <laughs> sharp. So fashionable. Yeah. I, I, this is what I aspire to be. Absolutely. I, you know, and become a seasoned woman. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I want to grow up and be like her, because <laughs> I'm already, but I want to be like her. I, I, I love the way she walks and the way she in, in, intercedes with people, and I love that. You, Miss Connie. <laughs> yes, and in addition to being a runway coach, I don't know if you know or not, but a lot of the ladies describe you as being a motivator, an encourager, and just being very caring. Because when we think about pageants and women, we're thinking about competition and a whole lot of cattiness and all of that. And I think I can honestly say we didn't have that. No, no. Yeah, we didn't have that. I think with the pageant, what I love is it's, there was never a time that you felt like you were alone. And it wasn't like mm -hmm. I was teaching them, but they were teaching me. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I gathered so much wisdom from being around these women. You know, I'm like, 
wow, I, I can just go over walking. But you know, when you right. learn wisdom, you take that with you. Right. You take that with you. So I learned so much just working with them. It was just amazing. I, I went home all the time, like I'm just in awe. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like we were really, really a family. You don't get that with 18 women. Exactly. Not only them, them and our team. Our team. Oh, just phenomenal. You just don't get it. You really right. never had not one fight. I mean, that's right. crazy. What about your women? You don't know how that could be. Right. Yeah, we all work together. It was and amazing. It was really lovely. Really amazing. Nice. That's good. So next joining us will be Keisha Kane. Hi, my name is Keisha Kane. I am 30 years old, a mother of four, and I am currently going to Lakeland Community College studying in the medical field as a nurse practitioner. I enjoy dancing, singing, and absolutely traveling. My future goals is to travel the world and to check a bunch of stuff off my bucket list. Um, aside from that, I love spending time with my kids, giving back to the community, and of course, absolutely going to church. And that is it for me. So joining us now is Miss Keisha Kane, and I'm gonna let her explain why she's sitting here with this big old crown on the table. None of us have a crown. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi guys. I am Miss Keisha Kane. I am the 2018 Miss Grown. Who was the first birthday? Was 
it Michigan? Yes. Was it the first birthday? Oh, at Fredericks. At Fredericks, yeah. You put the one you put it, together. Was it birthday or was it just getting together? No, it was her birthday. Was remember, birthday. she had a cake. It was her birthday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was. But the fact that you gathered all the ladies and you continue to do that. So I appreciate that and I thank you for it. Um, before we bring our next guest, though, you kind of touched on a little bit. I just wanted to hear more. Um, do you want to tell the people about that orientation and how that experience is at the very beginning? Um, so orientation at the very beginning. So I heard about the pageant on Facebook. Um, I have a mutual friend, which is Celeste. How funny. We've known <laughs> each other for 10 years. She was contestant number one, and I was contestant number 18. I didn't even think so, about that. Yeah. Yeah. So we were like, yeah. you started and I finished. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so um, I went online, and of course, you know, everything was easy to fill out. And, you know, all of my questions were answered, you know, like um, different categories and, you know, different stuff like that. So um, it was it was great. And the first meeting, you know, picking numbers, of course, I was late. <laughs> Funny story, guys. I literally went in her inbox and I was like, please, I am begging you. <laughs> because I think she was closing it, you know, because, of course, she wasn't expecting 18 women. Right. But um, she was closing it and I was like, I'm begging. She's like, well, if you can pay right away, I'm like, send. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. so because of that, I was contestant number 18. I was the last person, you know, because everybody, you know, signed up before me. But um, it was easy and I definitely liked um, the gathering and getting to, you know, because I think at the beginning I was like, I got this, you know. <laughs> Gave my confidence, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna shine, and then I get there and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I'm like, oh, maybe not. <laughs> you know, I'm definitely gonna get a run for my money. But, um, or older ladies, when I say they slayed, <laughs> it was Connie and um, Alice. Oh, yeah, Alice. Alice. So it, you know, it was, you know, it was, it was easy to do. It wasn't anything complicated, and you know, of course, my biggest thing that I love the Vida has a team of people. You know what I mean? So if you can't contact her, you contact Bella, you contact right. Anisha, you mm -hmm. contact Diana. Right. So it was like someone had a answer. Nobody was like, let me get back to you later on, five days later. You know, <laughs> none of that. So you know, everything was organized. You know, being being a mother of four, I'm not very organized. <laughs> but to see that organization, you know, everything is just in order and date and time. And it was like, no, so when are we doing this? You know, everything was together. So that made that made you feel more, you know, confident and ready. Mm -hmm. You know, ready is the right word, you know, so. And I'm um, sorry, girl. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. We, we wanted to alleviate any nervousness and any just when you're unsure and we just don't want to add to it already because speaking to you all you know the very first time after you register and i give you a call i can hear it over the phone uh -huh. you know like what am i getting myself into yeah. you know but um i think when you all came together i think everybody shared that same yes. feeling like oh wow <laughs> you look around the room yeah. and we were even impressed like oh my goodness yeah. wow yeah. And everybody came with positive energy yes. and good attitudes yes. and just ready to get everything going. So And everyone came with the reason why they were doing it. Yes. This was my other thing. You know, every you know, whatever we were going through, a divorce, you know, school, mm -hmm. you know, kids, you know, death, everyone had a different reason. And it's like, you know, it's like connecting that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like I was going through something and then I touched the other person and then mm -hmm. they touched yeah. me with their story and then we all had tissues like <laughs> yeah, that was true. True. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. you know so it was like after that meeting that first meeting we were all looking for so when are we coming back again yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know it's like therapy and beauty and my favorite part is angel mm -hmm. we would practice and she'd be like, get it, girl. Yeah. It was like a, you know, yeah. nobody was like, you know, quiet and mm -hmm. like, oh. It was like, get it, Connie. You go, girl. 
yeah, you know? Yeah. So we pumped, yeah, right. we pumped each other up to the point where we were like, can Sunday come fast? <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, so. well, we're going to get into some more stories of our contestants. Next, we'll have joining us Tashina. Hi, my name is Tashina. I'm 36 years old. I have three girls. Um, I do work in the social work field, and I just enjoy my church and doing things for our community. Well, thanks for joining us, Tashina. Sure, I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Well, I love the fact that you allow your daughters to compete in our pageant for young ladies. And then you decided yourself to do it, huh? Yeah. What was that? What was the thinking behind that? <laughs> many, many reasons. I always wanted to do a pageant. I just didn't know, you know, where to start, especially as I got up in age, I was like, I don't think I can do any pageants now. And then, and plus my girls, because I kind of, you know, encouraged them to do one. I was like, this is my time to show mm -hmm. them that I can do one too. And then maybe it'll continue to motivate them to do it. I was just thinking, I'm like, well, you had three daughters that participated, and I know a lot of the moms with one daughter is like, oh my goodness, this is so mm -hmm. overwhelming. I'm gonna have to get this outfit, that outfit. You did it with three, so that's why I'm chuckling. So I'm like, after all of that, you still was like, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. I mean, I thought the same way. Like, oh my goodness, I gotta get all these things, different things. I'm not a fashionista at all. So okay, too. <laughs> we were just talking about your necklace. <laughs> Before you joined us, um, Keisha had kind of touched on the fact that a lot of the ladies had a backstory, they had their reasons for doing this. And I want to go back to, I remember doing an interview, I can't remember which um, talk show we were on, and we were talking about this, and you said it out your mouth, like, allow this to be your launch pad. We need to let this be a launch pad for women. And I ain't gonna lie, when you first said it, but we were taping, I was just like, well, what you do for us? And then it sunk in like, oh, especially after I got to know the ladies and then hear the reasons why they were doing it. And some of those ladies are not here and I won't name their names or put their business out. But I think it's important for any young lady that's considering doing this pageant to know that we did have um, a contestant who was married for over 20 years and her husband just woke up and said, I don't want to be married anymore. But instead of her being down and depressed, she said, oh, I see a passion, I'm going to go get on somebody the wrong way, you know? <laughs> like, who thinks of that? Um, and she said, um, after her name, I just remember her tagline was, I'm sexy and I'm single. That's and I'm right. going to show you how to do it at 50. Right. Yes, so I remember that. Um, you, we were talking about ladies that were freshly divorced. We were talking about ladies who were ill. We had a contestant on oxygen, yes. on oxygen, yes. and she still had the courage to say, I'm going to do this, <laughs> and I love it, and I'm, I'm going to get her on our next episode, because since April, she's down 80 pounds, yes, close yes, to her. she yes, looks yes. off the oxygen tank, yes. and she always thanks me for, I don't know what I did, <laughs> but I think it was all her. I think it was the pageant, I think it was you guys, I just think she was in the right place at the right time. Top energy. Right, right. So you said, you know, the reason that you did it was because your girls had it and you always wanted to do it. Yeah. Um, what was like something that you were, ner what were you the most nervous about? <laughs> well, I'm always nervous about speaking, speaking in front of large crowds. Mm -hmm. So that was my most nervous thing. We had to open up with the speech. And I practiced and practiced and practiced. I still got a little <laughs> nervous, but I made it through. So that was. Um, do you remember your introduction? Um, I do remember a little bit of it, bits and pieces. Let's hear it. And she said this one part in her introduction. I was so tickled. I know you know a part. Yep. So let's let's hear. You let's hear. You know that part because I don't remember how I opened that. Like that. However, I just I know you got to say that one part. It was something like, "Hi, my name is Tashina Smith. I'm 36 years old. I'm a fabulous American beauty consultant. I love." Trap music, but I also no, I love God and I love trap music. Or something yes, like that. Like, I can't get trap. Like, <laughs> God trap music, yeah. music or something like that. I don't remember. But, but that's all right. Music. That's all right. Cause somebody in that audience was like, I love God and trap music. Yeah, I love God and trap music. Right, right, right. Well, we're gonna.
going to have one other contestant join us, and then it's going to get real juicy. I'm telling you, I know she's going to come to the table with some juice. She over here, she's ready. So joining us next will be Miss Callista. Hi, my name is Callista J. Cottingham. I'm 41 years old. I'm a single mom with six children. I am working currently full-time in the social services field. Um, let's see, I graduated from the University of Akron, um, and I, um, I love to be on stage, and that's about it. For joining us now is Miss Callista, and I promised y'all she was going to bring us some juice. I love Calista for so many different reasons. What I say, when you think about just confidently beautiful inside and out and just passionate about being unapologetically herself, like she did some things in this pageant, baby. We were like, okay. And Calista, you also had a daughter that was a part of our two pageants for the babies. Yes. Go ahead, tell us about Miss Winter. <laughs> My um, three-year-old Winter uh, competed in 2016 and was the overall winner of the tie category, Miss Model, uh, Miss Personality, and Miss Photogenic. Uh, so she was my inspiration for wanting to uh, compete in the pageant at, at this time. Awesome. Awesome, because Winter was awesome. And you can always tell those pageant moms who take the time out, Winter was on point. Yeah. So I was excited to hear you say, I'm going to do this, because I felt like if you could grow Winter into being a winner mm -hmm. and do all this great <laughs> stuff, so I couldn't wait to see what you had. <laughs> uh, and you like are just so creative with everything. I, you know, I try to be, um, it's, it's different when I can grow my child. And then when it comes to pigeon toe bow legging myself, <laughs> um, it's a whole different story. Um, I mean, I, I wanted to learn because I didn't know how to walk. I, I like theater, but as far as modeling, um, like my, my parents had put my stepsister in charm school growing up, but I was such a tomboy and like wanted to fight and all that stuff. <laughs> you know, I was like, I don't want to do that. But this opportunity, my daughter was like, please get on stage, my go do it or whatever. So I tried it and um, I didn't win, but it was fun. Can I say something? <laughs> yes. so, Guys, don't listen to her. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's get this straight. Let's talk the truth. So she claimed she could not walk in heels. She couldn't walk, she couldn't do this. And uh, um, Val said, don't listen to them. <laughs> because Patrick, they're going to come and they are going to slay that thing. Mm -hmm. So yes. said, so that who comes out in a mesh? <laughs> mesh. Okay. Yes. It says, baby, I'm the best. Yes. 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 I was too busy calling up everything. And she was like, oh, no, honey. No. <laughs> I got it. I'm going to force. Yes. Somebody so, like yes. those chubby chasers, they out there. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> loves rolls and biscuits. So That's I'm right. okay that with was that. actually a part of your introduction. You know, yes. your intro? No. Because you said you were the chubby cutie. Yes, yes. Like, yes. And you you held that title all the way through. It's like you created your awesome yes. ego yes. that we yes. talked yes. about in rehearsal, mm -hmm. and that became you. Yes. And you, I mean, even when you had the um, the riff with talent, yes. that's when I was just like, oh my goodness. Yes. You killed it. I, <laughs> Tell everybody what happened with talent. So I, I uh, was contestant number 12. Uh, so the talent went in order by contestant number. And just so happened, I was standing backstage going over my lines and I hear my lines on stage. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute, somebody doing, somebody doing the same thing as me? I don't want to go. I shut down immediately because I'm notorious. I was shut down. I'm done. I don't want to do anything no more. And just so happened, uh, backstage, I was getting a lot of encouragement. It was like, go ahead, go out there and do something. And then I didn't want to let Davida down also and, and, and Miss Val and, and a slew of other people, um, including, you know, the people in the audience that came there for me uh, to see what I do best, which is I love theater. So they didn't get the chance to hear the theater. <laughs> so I had to pull something else out because, you know, with theater, you do impromptu and things like that. And I'm like, I'm going to just go 
with my next passion because I am a tomboy at heart and my brothers groomed me <laughs> growing up. So I went straight hip hop on them and did some rap the best way I could. My favorite rap that I know by heart, uh, which is Audio 2 Top Billing. So, yes! I did you that. you got a rock and go. You got the crowd and they were singing along with you. I mean, so that, that was a great plan B. And for everybody that's listening, we did fix the talent thing. So moving forward, we will ask what your talent submission yes. will be. I didn't think that when, when you guys signed up, we asked you just in general, what are you doing? And when you said acting and acting, you know, I never thought to say, well, what? And then it was fences? Yeah, fences. Who would have thought two people would have been fences? <laughs> it's, the, it's the most powerful one. Obviously, oh. so, um, if you go to do a monologue or an audition, that's one of the greatest oh, monologues. Wow. Oh, wow. Right. I never did. Yeah. People do that one a lot. So. Awesome. Yeah. If well, you just try that. We're gonna, we gonna take care of that. Moving forward. You don't worry if you got a time. We're gonna make sure y'all not doing the same So, I just wanna know um, if we can just go around the table and just talk into the camera to that woman that's thinking about doing this pageant. What are some encouraging words you can say to her? We're gonna start with our winner, Miss <laughs> Keisha K. So, I'd like to speak to the woman from other countries who think they don't fit in, the woman who has kids and going through a divorce, the woman who was called ugly and fat and, you know, just treated horribly, just to those women, powerful women that don't even realize how powerful mm -hmm. they are, you can do it. Yes. You can pull through. You can be anything you want to be and do anything you actually want to do. Um, sometimes it takes a push. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the Vida keeps saying, I don't know what I did. But she came up with this idea and she had no clue she was going to change just say 400 people's lives because she's thinking she only changed 18 women. Mm -hmm. But we had women in the crowd, in the audience, who came up to me, who I've seen afterwards. I worked at the Cleveland Clinic, and I went for lunch, and you know, they were like, oh, you're the queen. <laughs> you know, I'm doing this next year. I'm like, uh, <laughs> you know, so, um, it doesn't matter who you are, what color you are, how big you are, how small you are, how short, how tall, you know, there's no discrimination, absolutely. Um, we're all women, we all empower each other, and that's what we should continue to do. And Davida is a great example of a powerful, black, independent oh, woman. Wow. Um, that, you know, she don't, she don't only say, I'm trying to change lives, I'm trying to mm -hmm. empower other women. She actually say it and do it at the same time. You know what I mean? And that's the difference, you know, with, you know, some woman when we just say, oh, I'm going to do this, but she's actually doing it and she hasn't stopped. You know, she didn't let, you know, the 400 crowd that she had and had a good time and stop. She got up. She probably didn't get up the next day doing it. <laughs> <laughs> she already told us, don't call me. <laughs> but she continued um, to do it and then she, you know, after that, she went to the kids, you know, and I'm thinking to myself, I wouldn't even try to do another pattern after that, <laughs> you know, and of course, I was inspired by Calista because her daughter was the winner, and I'm like, oh, she put her daughter in it, I could put my daughter in it too, you yeah. <laughs> know, um, and then of course, she coached me through it, do this, do that, and my daughter was the winner, we're all in our tags, mm -hmm. you know, so we were kind of like, trying to follow Calista, kind of <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, um, if you have any, you know, second thoughts, mm -hmm. don't think about it. Just do it. That's right. That's like Max says, you know. What you got to say as well? I would say just piggyback off you, Keisha. Do it. Launch. Because as women, we give out everything. We're sisters, we're moms, we're aunts, and then we get to work, our co-workers. My office is always filled with people. My co-worker, um, Kathy Brickman, boy oh boy, you know, 
we, we're always inspiring women. So you, you're gonna always have those things we call them, children. It's your turn. I think this is the season of a woman. And it is our time to just launch. Don't think about it. Because when they all started, they all had a story. And there was one particular that we tried to, and when we first started, um, the young lady who you said, go, go talk to her. And, and she's doing it now. Um, lady, uh, we kept talking to her and talking to her. And was she it how she met your friend, um, Deanna? It was Deanna and it was another, um, someone else. Angel. Angel. Angel, because you know she gave that look like I'm not doing it. Yeah, she was like, oh my, oh my god. <laughs> but she, you know, later I asked her why did you decide to do it, and she said I launched. So just launch. Don't think about it. You have a support team. You know, we are all growing together. Mm -hmm. So just launch. That's good. That's a good one. What about you, Ms. Connie? Um, I think everything was really good. I piggyback on what they said and what you talked about Angel or well, a lady that's what you were trying to mm -hmm. say. That's she okay. has really did a tremendous job of herself and others. Mm -hmm. She is inspiring to so many. Mm -hmm. I, I follow her yeah. on Facebook and I mean I, she's just amazing and I tell her that all the time when I you know when I interact mm -hmm. with her on Facebook. Mm -hmm. But everybody again was really so impressive and um, friendly and like I said we, we came a family. Yes. Yes. And um, God was there with us. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, yes. we prayed, we cried, we laughed, yes. we did it all. And um, I just enjoyed everything and everybody. And everybody learned a lot and from each other. Mm -hmm. And I think it was really a fantastic thing that you did. Oh, thank you. Yes, definitely. Tashima? <sighs> For that woman out there who don't think you have time, um, I get that from a lot of women. Oh, I don't have time, or this is just not the right time, or no time, time, time. It is. It's, when is the right time? Is what I say. It's like do it now or, or never. Like time is gonna be time. You just have to do it, and you make time for what you really want to do. So um, when you never, if you have doubts, if you just feel like you know I can't do it, you can connect yourself with someone who is doing it. Um, reach out. I mean, Facebook, social media. I know everybody's on it, so you see it all the time. You just have to do it. And joining something like this was such an empowering thing for me. It helped boost confidence in other areas where I was lacking. So um, it's just a good thing to do. Yeah. I just wanted to add something to that. I was, I was telling the ladies earlier about a little uh, video I saw about tomorrow's not promised to anybody. So make every day a party for you. Celebrate you. Yeah, make that's every that's day a that's celebration. Good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And that's actually part of our tagline. Um, when I'm talking to people about what it is, and I'm telling them it's just not, it's not a pageant that you see on TV. You know, we're not glamorizing um, just women just up on stage. We really are celebrating the everyday woman. And it's not that you have to have any pageant experience, runway experience. We are really celebrating the everyday woman. But don't get it twisted. <laughs> don't ever get it twisted. It's still a competition. <laughs> we do cool by God, but when it's time to take care of business, the business is an end up. Alyssa, what you want to add? Um, I'm going to speak to the lady that's probably like me, the introvert slash extrovert. You know, I'll, I'll, I'm okay with sitting by myself and then I'll come together and that's just being real. You know, people will be like, why don't you come over here? No, I'm good right here where I'm at. Um, but I also am learning to open up. I might not be all foo-foo, like fluffy, touchy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to explain it. You know, I'm not like that. But I like being on stage. I like celebrating being a woman. I enjoy being able to pick out, having a reason to get all fancied up, and I tried really hard to put some heels on. I was really, really trying. <laughs> so hopefully I lose some more weight or something and I'll be able to wear something. I, I'm just, I gotta learn how to walk in heels. So to the introvert, get out. Um, I'm an introvert slash fake ex extrovert also. <laughs> just, just do it, it was fun. It was a great learning experience. And like I said, we didn't have no drama. I don't do drama, yeah, I don't. 
Um, I, I wouldn't, mm -mm, I don't do that. It, it, it's real and it was real fun and it is a competition. You will enjoy yourself and learn a whole bunch. That's awesome. So ladies, our second annual Rona Sexy Pageant will take place on Saturday, April 6, 2019. The team is working very hard to put that together. We've made some adjustments. Talent, being Ooh. one. Yeah, and we, we do, we, we're open, we're transparent, we take in all of the suggestions that people, because we want everybody to enjoy it. I want my team to enjoy it. I want to enjoy it and not be stressed. I want the contestants to enjoy it. And I want the attending audience to enjoy it, as well as the, the uh, judges, our MC, the DJ. It's so many pieces and parts, but we work very hard to make sure that we're able to put on something professional and something that people will be talking about for years to come, and in a good way. Yes. So I just want to thank my team. I want to thank everybody that's been a part of this. Um, I want to thank all of the contestants. And for you guys, stay tuned, because we're going to have some very interesting conversations. The next one I'm thinking we need to talk about backstage, because people want to know. You know, it's a competition. Y'all saying everybody was nice. I'm going to give them a real about y'all backstage, you know. So we're going to have some more contestants around the table. And you know, we'll, we'll learn a little bit more. So thanks for tuning in to our first episode, and we're, we'll continue to come to you with some more information about pageantry in Cleveland, in Northeast Ohio, yes. something that nobody's really doing. So thanks again for tuning in.